Hey everyone, it's Benitez here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's WTF episode, I'm going to show you how you can reference an option set field and a flow condition step. So this is a beginner level topic and I'm going to show you a quick recap of what you're already familiar with in Dynamics 365 workflows and then we're going to jump straight into flow. So in terms of what you're already familiar with in a Dynamics 365 workflow condition step, you can reference an option set field and from within that option set field, you can select the criteria such as you want the condition to ensure that the option set field equals value A, B, C or D. So that's what you can currently do in a Dynamics 365 workflow condition step. So I'm going to show you how you can do this in Flow today. All right, so let's jump straight into our flow. So in my flow, I have a Dynamics 365 trigger on create of a case. And what we're going to do is we're going to check that the option set field priority equals VIP. So in terms of my value, I'm referencing VIP. And when you enter in the field, you have an option called priority label. And in here, you can enter in VIP and hit save. So now that we've entered in the condition step criteria, let's go ahead and create a new case and let's see if the flow will execute. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do when we create a new case is set the priority to VIP. And then we'll go ahead and fill in the other details in the case. All right, let's head back to our flow. Okay, so I'm gonna hit refresh. And we can see that the flow is running. And it looks like the flow has succeeded. So let's see if it's past the flow condition. Woohoo! Okay, so that worked. Now, while this is a valid option in terms of configuring your flow, the disadvantage with using the priority label in your expression is that if you go and change the label, so I'm, let's say I'm changing it to very important, and Let's go ahead and publish the customizations. Okay, so back in the unified interface, I'm going to hit refresh and we're going to create a brand new case where we select very important as the priority value. Okay, so I have now update, sorry, I have now created the case. So let's head into flow and check that the flow has been executed. Cool, so this is the flow here. And as you can see, the condition has not been met. And that is because we have since updated the priority label from VIP to very important. So the proper way to do this to safeguard that issue is you want to select the other field called priority and you want to enter in the actual value. So that's the number value, not the label and remove any commas hit save and you're good to go. Okay, so back in Unified Interface, we'll repeat the same steps. Okay, so I'm checking whether the flow has been executed and we should now see that the condition has met and therefore it should go on to my final step. Okay. Yes, cool.
cool. All right, so that passed and it went on to complete the next step. So in terms of a quick recap before we wrap up, do not use a priority label. Use priority in your flow condition and make sure you reference the option set value without any commas. Now, if you did use a CDS trigger, so on create of a case, the steps are the same. You will need to use priority and remember to remove the commas in the option set value that you are providing. In the CDS trigger, you're not going to have the ability to select priority label, so you can't go wrong when you use a CDS connector. And yeah, that is it for today's WTF episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for all the new subscribers that who have subscribed in the last week. It really means a lot to me that you're following my WTF vlog series. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. I also have a blog, so please go ahead and check that out. And yeah, happy flowing. All right, I will see you next time. Bye. Let's go.